today's about six simple tools that make up all tools and machinery that have ever been built. Six. Six of them. <laughs> now, that's hard to imagine. Yeah, it is. But only six simple tools. I'm trying to guess what those could be. Okay, well, <laughs> the first one, think of it, is a wheel. A simple wheel. Right, of course. That's one of your basic simple tools. And you can just see all the wheels around you today. You can't hardly pick up any type of machinery, equipment, devices that are not made up of wheels. Right. And I'll give some examples as we go along through this, okay? That sounds good. Number two <laughs> is the mighty wedge. Now, of course, this is just a simple wood wedge I just cut. Okay. But this is known as the strongest tool ever devised. Really? With the proper number of wedges, you can lift anything. Okay? That's really cool. Now, this wedge is also called an inclined plane. Inclined plane. An inclined plane takes all of the force out of moving something from a low spot to a higher spot by dragging it uphill. Gotcha. Okay? That's why the old ancient Egyptians, they say, built a lot of their work by building huge inclined planes to drag stones up. I gotcha. Okay? An inclined plane. Okay? Now, the next mighty tool. Just guess, what's the next one? Uh, a hammer? <laughs> no. A hammer is a combination. Oh, I'm not even it's close to It's a though. combination of simple tools, and I'll show you in a second. Okay, <laughs> the next one is called a lever mm. and a fulcrum. Okay. okay, a lever and a fulcrum work together. Okay, here's the lever, this long piece. Okay. This short piece is the fulcrum. Okay. Okay, and by using that, I can pick this up in something extremely heavy. I gotcha. On this end. Bunch of Folgers coffee. Yeah, bunch of Folgers coffee. And with little effort, I can lift this okay. with the lever. It's like no duh as soon as you say it, but I, yeah, I can't think of them off the okay. top of my head. All right. This is one of the mightiest tools that exists today. A lever and a fulcrum. You have to have the fulcrum underneath it, of course, to make it workable. Well, I'm trying to think of the combination that would make a hammer. Okay, a hammer. Look here, this is so simple. Okay. What was this called? This uh, was a lever. Lever, lever. This was course. called a lever. Okay. What is the handle on that hammer? It's oh. a lever. Okay. It's a lever. I got it. What is this right here when I'm using this hammer to pull a nail out? Uh, the fulcrum. It's a fulcrum and a lever combination and also a mighty wedge. Oh, okay. All three of those are making up this hammer. That's and if you look cool. on the end of it, what do you see? Uh, a wheel. <laughs> a wheel. <laughs> now, who would ever think of that? In a hammer. Yeah, who would have thought? <laughs> In a simple hammer. Now, what's two more that we can come up with? I'm at a total loss. wonder if the viewers can come up with anything. Okay. Leave a comment if you actually came up with any, well, with any of these. <laughs> this, this is going to be somewhat silly, but... Let me go over here and pull something out of one of my buckets. More Folger, you gotta have Folger. Now, right. what have I got in my hand? 
screw. A screw. That is your next simple tool. Really? A screw. Okay. And think of all the combinations yeah, that's that can I'm... be done with a screw. Yeah, that's like an, it, would that be an inclined plane as well? It's it from... actually is an inclined plane. As you screw, the threads run up. Right. Right? So actually a screw is kind of a combination of a few things. And I'll explain that, but a screw huh. is a simple tool. That's moving really things forward and backwards and up and down. Okay. A screw. Wow. Okay. Now, that was number five. What's going to be number six? Well, look what I found. Okay. Now, what would you call this? A that would be an axle. Oh, okay, okay, okay. An axle. Okay. And most of the time, an axle and a wheel go together. Right. Just like in your car, you have to have an axle and a wheel attached to the axle to roll down the road. Right. Okay. So uh, that is the sixth simple tool wow. that we've named. And I can take these six simple tools and build anything from them. If you break it down bare bones. If, when you break it down bare bones, that's an extremely good way to put it. Okay, let's go to a piece of equipment and okay. see how many simple tools that we can <laughs> start counting on our machine tools. Okay, the wood lathe. Now, let's see how many simple tools that we can find here. Okay. Okay, what am I putting my hand on? That's got to be a wheel. There's a wheel. Okay, what is this little thing here? That's a screw? This would be a lever. Oh, a lever, right. Okay, I'm unlocking this. Okay. Okay, now, what would this be here? This is what goes in and out That's it. to tighten this up. What would that be? The axle. That would be the axle. Okay, I'm gotcha. going to back this off. That's an axle. Okay. Okay. What would this be? This is holding the mount down. What would, would this be? A lever? That would be a lever. Right. There's a lever. Okay. Now, I'm sliding this whole thing backwards. Okay. Feel it. Okay. What did we just move this on? Hmm. That could be your inclined, inclined plane. plane. Right. Okay, now, let's see. Look here. See the axle coming out? But what is pushing that axle out? Simple two. A screw? A screw. Right. That's exactly right. So we, we named that. Here's one of the cutting tools that we use on a lathe. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, what would this be called? What would this be? This would be your lever. Oh, lever, right. It and, could be your lever. And this is the fulcrum? This would be the fulcrum. I got you. Okay, so I'm setting this on there and then cutting the wood. Okay. All right, here's another good example of a screw. Mm-hmm. Okay, now look, look at this, okay? Now this part here, of course, holds your wood in. Okay, now look here. Okay. All right, now see this has a taper on it? Yes. It's a little hard to see, but this end is smaller than this end. Yeah, you can see it. And the same end here. So when you push this in, that taper tightens up mm. and locks it in place because it's wedged. Right. And it's also an inclined plane. Right. <laughs> okay. And then this screw holds this what? This mechanism of wheels in place. Oh, that looks super And it just screws on. Simple tools so far. Wow. This back here is an axle. Right. A combination of axles. 
Wow. All of these levers and screws, they're everywhere. <laughs> you can't touch nothing that when not you... made up of the six simple tools that we talked about. Levers all over the place. Wheels all over the place. Axles all over the place. Right. Once you see it, you can't unsee it no more. And I can go on and on and on about that. Look at all the simple tools on that bandsaw. Wheels, inclined planes, axles, wedges, screws. That's how you get all your mechanical advantage. That's really cool. There's your good lesson for today.